energy fluctuations of a system in contact with a heat reservoir. Consider an arbitrary system in contact with a heat reservoir at the absolute temperature T equals K beta to minus 1. Using the canonical distribution, it has already been shown that E bar is minus del L and Z del beta, where Z is sum over all possible states E to the minus beta E R. Obtain an expression E square bar in terms of Z or preferably natural logarithm of Z. So let's start with uh, what E square average value is. This is basically using our knowledge of statistics uh, sum over all possible values er square multiplied by its probability distribution function e to the minus beta er divided by the canonical uh, distribution uh, partition function sum over r e to the minus beta er and here z the partition function is sum over r e to the minus beta e r. Now uh, we can check how we can write the top in terms of uh, z. So if you look at the derivative of z with respect to beta, this is sum over r uh, minus e r e to the minus beta e r. So I see that to reach the e r square, I need another derivative. So if I take one more derivative, del square z del beta square, this is sum over r e r square e to the minus beta e r. Therefore, I see that I can write this uh, e square bar as 1 over z del square z del beta Square. So the second derivative of z with respect to beta here gives me the numerator and the denominator is already z. So this is one way to write it. But the problem says preferably we should write it in terms of a natural logarithm of z. So uh, in order to do that, I'm going to try to obtain the natural logarithm of z in this derivative. So this is the, the derivative with respect to beta of uh, del z del beta, but I'm going to multiply and divide by z here. So it is uh, z times 1 over z, that's 1. So it would be the second derivative again, del square z del beta square. The reason I've done this is because I, I wanted to obtain here a natural logarithm of z. So this is del ln z del beta. So I realize that this can be written as 1 over z d d beta of the product z with del ln z del beta. So if I open this up, e square bar, I operate the uh, derivative with respect to beta on z first, so 1 over z, I would obtain uh, del z del beta multiplied with del ln z del beta, and then I would have z times the second derivative, del square ln z del beta square. So I'm operating del del beta to the product z that de uh, derivative of l and z with respect to beta so here i notice that if i distribute this one over z here one over z del z del beta multiplied with del l and z del beta and then here i have one over z times z second derivative of l and z with respect to uh, beta, so I find that e square bar can be written as because once again this is uh, del ln z del beta, uh, del ln z del beta squared, and then these z's will cancel, plus second derivative of ln z with respect to beta. So this is the way to write it, e square bar, in terms of 
uh, L and Z. So that's what was requested in part A. Part B, the dispersion of energy is E square bar minus E bar square. Use this relation uh, and the answer to part A to show that the variance of the energy is given by second derivative of ln z with respect to beta, which is minus del E bar del beta. So in part B, uh, we're using the relationship, the variance of the energy is E square bar minus E bar uh, square. So E square bar is once again what I have obtained in part A, del ln z del beta squared plus del square ln z del beta squared and then minus I have to use e bar squared minus del ln z uh, del beta is e bar so this has to be squared so this is uh, going to make this minus plus because I'm squaring it so this is going to become a plus so I will have uh, the derivative of ln z with respect to beta squared uh, in the front and at the back here so these two will cancel Therefore, I will find that the variance of the energy or dispersion of the energy can be written as del square ln z del beta square, which is the derivative with respect to beta of del ln z del beta. And del ln z del beta is minus the mean energy because the mean energy was uh, minus del ln z del beta. So therefore, this is minus del E bar del beta as uh, suggested uh, by the problem. So indeed, I find that del E square bar is second derivative of ln z with respect to beta, which is minus the derivative of mean energy with respect to beta. Now let's move on to part C of the problem. Uh, we want to uh, show that the standard deviation of energy can be expressed generally in terms of the heat capacity of the system. Okay, so uh, the standard deviation of the energy now we're going to work on uh, that is uh, delta E tilde, this is square root of the variance, delta E square bar, so this will be equal to uh, the square root of minus del E bar del beta. Okay, and on the other hand we know that the heat capacity is del E bar del T with all the external parameters uh, fixed, and this is actually del E bar del beta, del beta, del t. Okay, so uh, beta is equal to 1 over kt, so del beta, del t is minus 1 over kt squared. So I'm going to substitute that here for the uh, specific, the heat capacity. So heat capacity can be written as del E bar uh, del beta times minus 1 over kt square. So what I need is minus del E bar del beta square root. So minus del E bar del beta is uh, kc t squared. So therefore I find that the standard deviation which is square root of minus del E bar del beta can be written as T square root K C. So that is the answer suggested in part C. So indeed, that's the case. And let's go to part D. 
Now suppose that the system under consideration is an ideal monatomic gas, a monatomic gas consisting of capital N molecules. Find an explicit expression for the relative magnitude of fluctuations in terms of N. Okay, so for an ideal monatomic gas, we know that the mean energy is 3 over 2 capital N KT that only comes from translations of the center of mass and heat capacity del E bar del T would be equal to 3 over 2 capital N times K. So if you calculate the uh, standard deviation in the energy, this would be T times square root KC, so square root K times 3 over 2 and K. So you would find that this is KT uh, 3 over 2 capital N to the power 1 over 2, which is the square root. Now I have E bar is equal to 3 over 2 and KT and delta tilde E is KT 3 over 2 and to the uh, power 1 over 2. So if I look, calculate the relative magnitude of fluctuations delta tilde E divided by E bar, this would be equal to KT uh, square root of 3 over 2n, 3 over 2n to the power 1 half, divided by uh, 3 over 2 capital N KT. So KTs will cancel and I will find that the answer is 1 over uh, 3 over 2n to the power 1 over 2 or we can write this as a square root 2 divided by 3n. So the relative magnitude of fluctuations is given by square root 2 divided by 3n. Now, uh, if you remember, we talked about this relative uh, magnitude of fluctuations and delta tilde e divided by e bar uh, is proportional to 1 over square root of F and for a monatomic gas F is equal to 3N for a monatomic gas N molecules uh, in 3 dimension in 3D so we have really a 1 over square root f is equal to 1 over square root 3n. So indeed this checks and uh, we find that the relative magnitude of fluctuations is proportional to 1 over square root f. In this case the proportionality constant is uh, square root 2. That's what we find. Okay, so we looked at energy fluctuations of a system in contact with a heat reservoir and we have used E square bar definition, which is sum over all possible states, E r square e to the minus beta E r square E r divided by the partition function. And I noticed that the second derivative of the partition function gives me the numerator here. So it is one over Z del square Z del beta square. And for the second derivative, I tried to obtain the derivative of L and Z with respect to beta by multiplying the derivative with respect to beta of the del, the del z del beta with z and 1 over z uh, and when i operate the del del beta to the product z times del ln z over del beta i have obtained e square bar is del ln z del beta parentheses square plus second derivative of ln z with respect to beta and then we have calculated the variance of e using e square bar minus e bar squared and we have found that it is the second derivative of ln z with respect to beta, which is minus del e bar del beta. Using the definition of heat capacity del e bar del t at constant external parameters, we found that this is given as t square root kc. And by using the, the energy of the monatomic gas, which 
only has contributions for from kinetic energy translation the kinetic energy of the center of mass 3 over 2 and kt and the relative magnitude of fluctuations from t square root kc and noting that the heat capacity would be 3 over 2 and k for this monatomic gas molar specific heat would be 3 over 2 uh, r because n would be na uh, avogadro's constant uh, uh, Na times K is the universal gas constant, but the, here we use heat capacity and we find that the relative magnitude of fluctuations is scaling as 1 over square root 3n, which is consistent our previous result. Uh, the number of degrees of freedom is 3n for a monatomic gas in three dimensions.